Hello my dear students, how are you? I hope you all are fine. God bless you. As I have explained to you in my before video that we can separate insoluble substances from liquid following of two processes that is sedimentation and decantation. But can we separate soluble substances from liquid? Yes. In this video, I am going to tell you how can we separate soluble solids from liquid. So let me ask you one question first. Can you separate insoluble solids perfectly or completely by the process of sedimentation and decantation? You will say no. So how can we do it? How can we completely separate insoluble substances from the liquid? We can complete this process by the help of filtration. Yes, sedimentation process cannot completely separate the substances. Therefore, it is not a good method to separation. So, for separating insoluble solid components from a liquid, the mixture is allowed it to pass through a filter. This process is known as filtration. So, what we need to filter something? A filter may be a perfortable filter paper, cotton layer, cloth, layer of sand or anything. Even the strainer that we use to separate liquid tea. You might have seen that we are separating tea leaves and tea by the help of strainer. That is also the process of filtration. So that is also one process of filtration. Yes. So the filters allow liquids to pass through them but not solids. The insoluble solid left on the filter is called the residue while the liquid which passes through the filter is called filtrate. Did you understand? While we are filtrating we can get two things. First at the top there will be solid which is known as residue which we can get in filter paper or cloth what we are using for filtrate the thing understand very good 